A romantic weekend away for a Denver couple ends in a suspicious tragedy. A deadly fall raises new questions about a man who already lost one wife 17 years earlier. Correspondent Peter Van Zandt investigates for tomorrow's 48 Hours. Here's a preview. <laughs> in 2012, Harold and Tony Henthorn celebrated their 12th wedding anniversary with a hiking trip to scenic Rocky Mountain National Park. Tony, a well-respected eye doctor, Harold, a fundraiser, and their daughter Haley appeared to be a happy family. But everything changed when that hike, captured in these photos, ended tragically as Tony fell 140 feet to her death. I have a series of texts from my brother-in-law, Harold Henthorne, regarding my sister, Tony Henthorne. This says, Barry, urgent. Tony is injured fall from rock. Being the big brother and supposed to take care of your sister, you can't do it. There's Tony and Harold. Hanthorn told Tony's family, as well as investigators, his wife accidentally slipped. Tony Hanthorn died in Rocky Mountain National Park. In two but Denver's CBS4 investigative reporter Brian Moss got an anonymous tip that made Tony's death look much more suspicious. And it just said, Harold Henthorne, his first wife died in a freak accident as well. Her name is Lynn Henthorne. And just like in Tony's case, Harold was the only witness. Lynn and Harold, they'd been on a drive late at night. They had stopped to fix a soft tire. Somehow she ends up under the Jeep. A jack fails and the Jeep falls on her, crushing her and killing her. Grace Rochelle was Lynn's sister-in-law. And what did you know about the circumstances of Lynn's death? It was just a freak accident. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office also thought it was an accident. But when Grace heard about Tony's fatal fall, she couldn't help but think back to Lynn's death. Lynn and Tony, it was deja vu. I felt like I was reliving the same events. Remote area? Efforts are limited, it's dark. It's the same scenario. Federal investigators also learned there were large life insurance policies on both women. How did your wife die? And in November of 2014, two years after Tony's death, Harold Henthorne was arrested and charged with her murder. This is either the unluckiest guy in the world or perhaps it's something far more sinister. It could be murder. Peter Van Zandt joins us now. Is Harold Henthorn the unluckiest <laughs> man in the world? Well, a jury's going to determine that this fall, but one thing about his first wife's death, when that car crushed her, she was the only woman in the entire United States in 1995 to die in that fashion. So it's a very, very suspicious case. Looks very suspicious, and right now he's only been charged with Tony's murder. Do you now think he could be charged with Lynn's? Well, prosecutors want to have that brought into this case to show a pattern of behavior. The defense wants to keep that out. There, there will be a pretrial hearing that will make that determination.